Hey everybody, hope you guys healthy and safe. So this is the Vivo X Note. This is the newest slab flagship from Vivo that launched last week for the China market only. Now, this phone is not on sale in Hong Kong and I did not get it from Vivo. So I got this phone from Trinity Electronics. They are Hong Kong's best and fastest phone importers and they also ship worldwide. So there are a couple of things that set this phone apart from the last Vivo flagship device that launched, the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. You know, other than the fact that this is a newer phone, so it runs on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, but that doesn't really matter. So the two biggest difference is that this is a much larger device than the X70 Pro Plus. It has a seven inch screen. Now if you hear seven inch screen, you may think that's huge, that's gigantic, right? Actually not really, because Vivo curved the display on the left and right side and also uses an elongated aspect ratio. So the phone really isn't that much wider than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you go by raw numbers, it is a little bit wider than the iPhone 13 Pro Max by like a couple of millimeters, like we're talking about like this much. But overall, if you can handle the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can handle the Vivo X Note. Likewise, the S22 Ultra, it's marginally thinner than the Vivo X Note. But then, you know, the in-hand feel, it's roughly similar. If you can handle one phone, you will be able to handle the other. If you do care about raw numbers, so the dimensions of the Vivo X Note from left to right is 80.3 millimeters. That's 3.16 inch to Americans. So the second thing that sets this phone apart from most other phones on the market is it runs Origin OS. Origin OS is Vivo's Android skin, only inside China. Outside of China, Vivo still uses Front Touch, which looks a lot more traditional. Okay, let's take a closer look at Origin OS. Obviously, this look is, you know, very reminiscent of iOS. So for those of you who really care about originality, this is already a point against Vivo. Particularly, if you jump over to iOS's rigid screen, it looks very, very similar. However, if you can get over the fact that this look borrows a lot from Apple, you might grow to appreciate that Origin OS actually has a lot of unique touches. It behaves differently from a lot of Android phones. First of all, there is no app tray, so all your apps sit on the home screen. When you swipe up, instead you jump into the screen called Nano Kits. And Nano Kits is what Vivo calls its interactive widgets. By the way, you may be seeing some flickering on the screen right now. That is totally my camera. In real life, in person, you cannot see any flickering at all. I already have some of these Nano Kits widget on my screen and they are interactive, meaning you can interact with them directly just from the home screen. So for example, I can check the weather. I can check the weather throughout the rest of the day by just swiping through right here. And then I have this little widget here. This is part of the Vivo Notes. I can immediately tap to add a note or I can tap to set a timer. And right here, I have another recording widget and this allows you to record audio immediately on the home screen. It saves you an extra step from needing to open the recording app first. And when you're done, it saves automatically. And then we have this translation widget here. It allows me to immediately translate a screenshot or copy text. So let me show you an example. I'm gonna go into an American website, grab a screenshot and back out, tap on the translation app and the screenshot will be ready for me to move over just one tap and it will convert over and now it's going to translate this english website to chinese you see so this is pretty useful for people in china who may not be native english speakers and you can translate a bunch of different languages to chinese so you see you have english japanese korean french spanish russian thai now the interactive widgets also carries over to the lock screen so let me go to the lock screen so this is the fingerprint scanner by the way it looks quite different from every other android phone out there right so anyway you have these ridges right here including this health widget so i just have to hold on to it and drag it to the middle for you to launch this app automatically to check your stats likewise right here if you drag this this is the music player you drag it here then you can begin playing music right away now i don't have any music stored on the phone but if you if i had some mp3s in there i could be playing mp3s likewise with the phone you drag it in the middle to jump into dialer. Now, once you jump into settings, this will begin to look a little bit familiar. This looks like most other Android phones settings panel. Now you jump into multitasking, you can see that you can obviously open apps in split screen mode, but you also have now the ability to open apps in a floating window, which you couldn't do in FunTouch OS before. So let's jump into uh, Vivo's no apps. If you swipe up from the lower left corner, it will automatically go into floating window mode. So that's about it in terms of quirks for Origin OS. Otherwise, you use this like any other Android phone. You swipe down to get the notification shade. I don't have any notifications right now, but 
the notifications will go here and then the shortcut toggles are here in this control center now if you don't like that the shortcut toggles are here in a separate page like the control center you can jump into settings and put those shortcut toggles back into the main notification shade otherwise this is a pretty typical android slap flagship particularly a vivo flagship the camera system it's very very similar to the vivo x70 pro plus's camera system which is good news because i think the vivo x70 pro plus still has if not number one top two best camera system on the market right now. So you have a 50 megapixel main camera with an f1.6 aperture and a one over 1.31 inch image sensor size. So this is the exact same main camera as seen in the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. The ultra wide camera is also mostly identical to the ultra wide camera in the X70 Pro Plus. So it's a 48 megapixel ultra wide with an f2.2 aperture. However, the Vivo X Nose ultra wide is not built on top of a gimbal. So it's just a standard ultra wide, whereas on the X70 Pro Plus, the ultra wide camera is built on top of a miniature gimbal. Now both of these phones also have the same periscope zoom lens. It's an eight megapixel periscope zoom lens that does five times optical zoom. Where the lens finally differ is in the telephoto lens. So this is still a two times telephoto optical zoom lens, but it has a smaller image sensor size and a slower aperture than the two times telephoto lens here. So it should be a little bit inferior. So You also have a 5,000 mAh battery in here. However, because the screen is so large, it's a seven inch 2K panel, that 5,000 mAh main, you know, it's not considered a huge battery for a screen of this size. But I'm pretty confident that this phone should still be able to last almost all day, if not quite all day for me. But I'm a heavy user. I think for a lot of people, it should still be good enough because it's an LTPO 2.0 panel and Vivo's optimization, it's quite good. So one last thing I want to mention is that the fingerprint sensor here, it's that same 3D Ultra Max Sonic sensor from the iq 9 Pro. So this is a much faster in display fingerprint scanner than what's seen in not just the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, but also the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The fingerprint scanner, when you register, you only have to tap it once to register. And when you unlock, you just have to put your finger on the screen for like a split second and it will unlock. Oh, and you can install Google on this phone very easily. You don't have to do all those crazy side loading like you would do with a Huawei device. You just have to install Google Play Store or Gmail from either APK Pure or Vivo's own app store. Once you log into your Google account, everything will start working. The Google Frameworks is already in this phone out of the box. One more thing to note is that this phone comes with a pretty nice uh, full leather case. It's not real leather, it's full leather, but it feels very nice. It's similar to the leather back that we've seen in the Vivo X60 Pro Plus. So the Vivo X Note retails in China for 6,000 RMB, which converts to around 941 US dollars. Now, Obviously, if you're watching this from the US or Europe or anywhere outside of China and Hong Kong, you're not gonna be able to get it at this price of 940 US dollars. You're gonna have to pay a little bit of a markup when you're importing the phone, whether it's from Trinity Electronics or from any of those like websites like Giztop or whatever. So, you know, look at this phone as like a thousand dollar phone for the rest of you guys. If you're in China, if you're in Hong Kong, you can get this for around 950, 940. US dollars and I think it's a very good price for a phone with a huge screen Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and a really good arguably one of the best camera systems out there so that's about it I have a lot more content coming up including the Vivo X Fold I don't have it yet but I'm waiting for it and when the Vivo X Fold comes out I'm going to do an in-depth video on that phone so that's it for now thanks for watching